Hello, I'm Elizabeth Vargas, and this is 2020 in Touch. Here's what we're working on for this week's program. Between the ocean and the mountains lies a place called the Valley of the Moon. Its beauty ripens at dawn into vineyards so perfect they look as if they were painted onto the land. But legends say beneath the blessings of this place lies a curse. Maybe it's the moon or the wine, but evil has a home here too. In 1910, an immigrant went on a rampage, butchering and burning his entire family. The local paper called it the most atrocious crime in the history of Sonoma County, but it's not anymore. I have been a part of uh, well over 100 homicide investigations uh, during the course of my career, but I had never seen the level of viciousness, and that was startling even to me. Mike Brown is a retired detective captain with the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. He collects vintage cars in mint condition, quite unlike his memories, which have been damaged beyond repair. Did you have flashbacks? Yes, I, I had all of that. I, uh, dreams, uh, flashbacks, uh, smells. Not far away, 22-year-old Carmina Salcido puts in 30 hours a week as a dog groomer. The only living things she really trusts are these animals and Mike Brown. Detective Mike Brown was, you know, that father figure that I never had. What do you get from Detective Brown that you haven't gotten from any other? Understanding. He understands, you know, what I saw, what I went through. Carmina feels so close to you. I'm very touched by that. Mike and Carmina have only seen each other a few times in the past 20 years. But last month, 2020, brought them together for a rare and remarkable reunion at the Viance Vineyards. Hi, Carmina. Hi, Carmina. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Here, overlooking the Valley of the Moon and over a glass of red wine, two scarred but surviving souls begin to remember April 14, 1989. On 4-14-89, at approximately 0820 hours, I was advised that an individual in the Sonoma Valley area had been the victim of a gunshot wound. Morning mist is just beginning to burn off the Kundi Estates vineyards when Detective Brown pulls into the main driveway. The winery supervisor, Ken Booty, has been shot, though not fatally. And so we came out here to talk to him. Did he know the guy who was shooting him? He did. He told us that uh, the man who shot him was Ramon Salcido. You can see that story and much more Friday on 2020 at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central. I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us at 2020, we're in touch, so you be in touch.